Hey there, everyone. It is really good to be back with you. I feel like it's really been kind of forever. Uh, we just come off of vacation and uh, we had an awesome time, but I must say it's, it's good to be back home. It's good to be back with you, with my church family. Um, I've missed you and I'm really looking forward to uh, this up and coming move and freshness and outpouring and all of what God has in store for us uh, uh, w would be just literally uh, released and I'm looking forward to that as he unfolds uh, his incredible powerful presence in the midst of our congregation. Uh, I, today I just want to give you just a, just a kind of an update on where we're going with in particular uh, this portion of our ministry. Um, up until this coming Sunday, which will be the last for this particular, uh, how should I say, layout, the way we are, do what we've been doing, uh, and, and what we've been doing is we've been just taking and breaking down the message on Sunday, and we've been giving you kind of a, kind of a brief version of what we've been teaching and ministering on Sundays. Um, kind of going to be taking a bit, a bit of a different approach. We've, uh, instead of uh, carrying the Sunday message uh, into the 3 p.m., what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the 3 p.m. message uh, to be a standalone message. There are things that I want to be able to uh, minister on and talk about uh, and, and hopefully create some dialogue with you um, on and off the live part um, that would be something that we're not able to do with the message on Sunday mornings. Uh, if you want to care, if you care to hear the message on Sunday, uh, and we're going to continue with the kingdom of God, uh, building culture, um, you can watch that um, live online at 10.30 a.m. Uh, it's a full service. It's only an hour, so it's not going to take away too much of your, your time on a Sunday. Um, but you can watch it uh, via YouTube as well as uh, our Facebook. Uh, those things will continue um, to be shared on those two medias. Um, but for this, however, at uh, the, the 3 o'clock Sunday, um, this will be taking on a little bit of a different thing. I want to, as I said, I want to break open the word with you in a little bit of a different uh, direction. And, um, and I really do want to, uh, uh, to share with you some things on my heart that I feel like as, as a church, it's so important for us uh, uh, to do. And that's exactly why. If I'm going to pull a scripture out of the out of the Bible, it, it would be this scripture that uh, that would be out of found in Romans chapter eight, beginning with verse one. And many of you who have been around a while know this verse or have read the the the, the book of Romans or what have you. Um, but this is kind of the premise of which we will be. Uh, a, walking in. This is the kind of the thing that will begin to build momentum because I want to talk to you about uh, salvation and I want to talk to you about relationship. I want to talk to you about sin. I want to address things that um, that I believe that are life and game changers. Uh, not that the messages are on Sunday. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is this will be an addition and this will go um, perhaps a bit more in, in the area of instructional and dialogue. And I really do encourage you to dialogue with me and share some things that perhaps uh, that you can say, hey, that really is true, or I, I, I didn't see it that way, or I, I have a problem with what you're saying. Uh, and, and I'm open to all of that. And I, again, I want to hear from you. So make sure that you do that. So here's, here's the premise. This is the foundational uh, passage that I want to lay for you today and, and for the weeks, months, and hopefully years to come. And it says this, Therefore there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. That text right there really does define 
where I want to go. I want to talk about these kinds of things because I honestly believe that um, that there are there that there is a belief system out there that does not gel well with the Word and the will of God. And I want to be able to be honest with you and talk to you about frankly the word and what it is what it means both in the area of contextually and and cross-referencing and and so you're going to probably want to uh, put a notebook out pull a notebook out break open your your bibles with me because we're going to be talking about words what they really mean and how do they really apply to us here's the deal we we need to be different we we should be changed we should not be reacting and responding not only the way the world has been is reacting and responding we also should be responding in the way our old nature has called for and much of us are running off the gas of our past and not uh, in the future outpouring in freshness of the the now and the future of which Christ himself has given for us and permitted us and empowered us to live that salvation means life change, culture change, um, and it cannot look like our past. It needs to look like the very person in the image of the Father, which is Jesus Christ. And so, once again, this is our premise. Next, this coming Sunday, we are going to be dealing with, again, uh, the kingdom of God and uh, the, the culture, and, and we're going to take it from, and then thereafter, we're going to take a little bit of a different format. It will remain about between 12 and 17 minutes is what I want to do. Um, so it's little bites, um, and so I just want to encourage you. Uh, to do that and to be a part of that. Hey, I love you so much. I'm so grateful for you. And I look forward to um, as we travel down this particular road and the way in which we're going, I pray that it would be encouraging as well as challenging, as well as convicting. I pray that 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 this this journey of life will make a difference to you, but also have a cause and effect of difference towards other people. It is really time for us to 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 vacate the eternal childhood of the believer. It is time that we walk in the pleasure of one and the worship towards of the one. He is Father and it is his son Jesus Christ. And so I want to invite you there and I do hope you will join me as we Go and grow together. God bless you. Till we meet again, amen and amen.